Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gordon Aviation YouTube video. Today, I have my Washington Dulles Airport Update series. Today's going to have a, a packed house of, um, um, not, um, current routes and, um, grounded aircraft and stuff like that. Because, you know, pandemic and I have a few, um, other things in, in here. I got a bunch of new models for my birthday. A couple, um, rare models and a couple really nice models that I like. And, um, without further ado, how about we get into right, it? to start off the, um, Southern United Express gate, we have a United Express Embraer ERJ-145 that just came in from Knoxville. And we'll be heading out to Detroit. Um, I really wish that, um, um, Gemini Express would make a new livery ERJ-145. I think that it would actually sell pretty well. And it would definitely get a few more of them. Right next to that ERJ-145, we have a United Express Embraer E-Jet-170. He'll be doing a flight out to, let's have him go to Grand Rapids. Then we have a United Express CRG 200 in the ancient Battleship Grey livery. I think there's only like one or two of these flying around for United Express. But he's waiting for the um, Embraer 145 to push back. And he'll be taking um, his gates. He came in from Northwest Arkansas. And he'll be going out to Allentown. Here we have a United 737-800, which just came in from Chicago, and we'll be going out to Guatemala City. Here we have a United Express Embraer 175, which just came in from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we'll be heading out to Memphis. Um, <clears throat> the gate that I have this parked at is like a multi-purpose gate. It can fit anything up to an A320, but I um, will use it for Express and Mainline. At some at points, but yeah, like I said, he'll be heading out to Memphis, and he just came in from Jackson. Here we have another United Seven Three Seven Eight Hundred, which will be going out to Cleveland, and came in from um, Panama City. Third United Seven Three Seven Eight Hundred, which is getting pushed back for Seattle. Here we have a Gemini Jet United Eight Nineteen, which will be heading out to Charlotte Douglas. This is one of my favorite Gemini Jets models, and it's one of my favorite Gemini Jets Airbus models that they have. Here we have a United 757-200, which will be doing a flight out to Cardiff, and it just came in on the morning flight from London Heathrow. The Cardiff flight is fictional, although I would love to see United actually operate a route like that. Here we have a United 787-10. He just came in from Frankfurt. And he's pulling into the gate right now. He's getting the bags offloaded from Rome Fiatino. We have this United 767-300ER in the new livery. This is a really, really, really good model by Gemini Jets. I really hope that they um, continue this model quality with their um, United wide body planes. They've been pretty good so far, and I can't wait to see how the new 787-9 looks. Right here we have a Southwest Louisiana 1, or Pelican 1. He's just getting the catering loaded on for a flight out to Atlanta. Right here we have a Swiss Airbus A330, which will be going out to Zurich. Here, kind of my cargo section, we have a Transamerica 747 200 Cobby. He'll be doing a flight to Anchorage and continuing on to Beijing. Here we have a U.S. Airways 757 200. He's just waiting to be acquired by a new owner. Here we have a Trump 757 200. Yes, this is Donald Trump's private plane. He just came in from... West Palm Beach Airport, and we're heading out to Orlando for CPAC. For this update, we have a grounded United 777-200, um, because of United 328 and the Pratt & Whitney PW4000 engine problems. He's grounded right now. United have voluntarily grounded all of their 777-200s with that engine before the FAA could. But yeah, he'll be grounded. He'll be sitting here until further notice. Yeah, that does basically conclude this update. But before you go, I want to talk about my uploading schedule. I am planning on uploading every week an, up, an airport update or something like that to kind of um, be more consistent and try and grow my YouTube channel a bit more. And um, I'm planning right over there where that 777-200 is. I'm planning on getting a Gemini Jets hangar. And that will turn into like a little um, United maintenance section and then where those two twin 757s are. And that 747-200 copy. That'll be my cargo section for Dulles. But yeah, that does conclude this airport update of Washington Dulles. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.